Okay, so I want to actually start positioning these uh, all these buttons over here precisely in the middle. I also need to fix this nonsense going on over here. See, the images are getting cut off. They're not fully rounded. So, uh, well, let me go ahead and just investigate using my trusty web developer plugin for Firefox. I could click here and something... okay, okay, well this is all seems to be the same thing. I guess this is all pulling it up because there's all these tags grouped together, but this seems to be what's setting the the style for these buttons and my eyes immediately drawn to this height and width tag I'm thinking that's probably all that there is to it um, yeah let me go change that right in the screen.css that's the authors one where is this oh here it is so this code over here why don't I just give it a I don't know just give it a 10 more pixels over there just kinda seeing if that's gonna do it Bam! Look at that. Took care of the problem. Looks pretty good. Um, all right. Well, let's actually position this thing now. Um, let me think. So this thing is a is the UL. It's a unordered list. So somewhere, I mean, you know, because the unordered list would actually have the whole block over here. Somewhere in my uh, CSS, I should probably yeah. Here we go. I have the width set but to 90 so why is this huh okay well let's see if I could find some information I'm trying to figure out what's causing all this to happen let's see container margin left set to auto margin right set to auto for them well, that's the container what am I talking about uh, I don't know. It this looks I, I can't see any like margins or anything being happen over here. All right. So so you know what I'm going to Oh, here. Let me actually re There we go. I just refreshed it to get the full icons. Uh No, you know what I'm going to try to do? I'm just going to try to position this over in the middle with just some padding left. I guess that's that's all I need to do and I'll apply that to the nav menu.ul. So here I am in uh, Dreamweaver. Let me. Okay, I'm in live view. Let me see if I do the margin. So I'll start with on the left. Let me. I don't know. 40 pixels maybe. Then zero zero zero. Let's see. Uh, oops. Duh. I need a zero up because that 40 pixels is for the top. Let's see. Uh, top. Duh. I keep on. I keep on doing the right thing. I'm trying to work too fast over here. Top right bottom and left so left is the last one um almost in the middle you know what i'm going to do here here's a here's a little way i could figure out how to get this almost perfectly in the middle is uh, let me save the style let me refresh it in here i'm going to use this uh measure it plugin that i have for firefox and then when i move in close i could I could see that what do we got here we got about so we got my 40 uh, about 40 pixels right because there's a little bit of padding happening over here somewhere and I don't know this is about 40 75 well, let's just say 70 just to kind of be even 40 and 70 what if I I don't know kind of halfway in between that since that's like 30 30 pixels bigger let me try just adding 15 pixels to whatever I have set up so from 45, let me go to 55. Eh, look at that. Okay. Cool. All right. What else do I want to do? Actually, so I want to move this thing up because I want it to. Oh, I want it to go over this element. Over. I actually want it to be on the pictures. So, you know, way I could do that is again since I'm here at margins let me do negative I don't know uh, negative 30 pixels should do the trick ah look at that got it up there that looks pretty good now you know the last thing I need to fix over here is these buttons because I don't know if you recall uh, these actually should be all different colors according to the icon now 
what's the problem? Why isn't that happening? Well, let's look at our sort. Uh, let's let's look at the are the screen dot css because that's where this is defined. And you know, if you look where where it says button colors, you notice that they put um, these classes right over here on them. Button one color, and we don't have that class on our linked element or link item in that's an A but what do we have what do what can we instinct should say let me see what I already have that's unique in that area that I could kinda target so we have we could potentially try nav menu nav menu A no 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 we, we can't do that because all these have to be individual Hey, we got the class. What if we try? Yeah, why don't we try just that? These these classes that we have set up, I'm just gonna copy and paste them. You know, that's a good way not to add any more code to our document. Here, I'm just um, I'm I'm just adding this in here just so I could cut this out. So I'm not actually having to type this manually. We'll say Grandmaster Flash. Beastie boys. We just better hope this works. Hey, look what's changing. Ah, pretty slick. So all we need to do is change these buttons to whatever classes we had. Run DMC and Slick Rick. You know, you may have been tempted to just add more classes to your uh, to those elements, but sometimes it's necessary, but if, first thing you want to think about is how not to do that because uh, then that way you have like leaner meaner code so to say here okay let's see hang on about the preview ah look at that 